One of the biggest things a lot of content creators make a mistake on is audio quality, right? We think about video, we think about visual, but audio. And this is something that's been a big pain in my butt for a long period of time is finding the right microphone. So I'm actually testing four microphones out from Sony, courtesy of Sony Singapore. By the way, this is not paid or sponsored, all right? It is the ECM B1M, that is their flagship. It's on the Sony ZV-E1 that we're recording on right now. There's the B10, there's the M1, and there's the G1. All different price points. I'm trying to find the right microphone for being a single content creator, and if you're like me, watch this video, we may come to that answer by the end of it. Anyway, we're testing out the ECM B1M, the flagship, it's around 484 Singapore dollars. Now it has three different modes in terms of this, omnidirectional, cardoid, and super cardoid. You have various different attenuation settings on there from zero, 10, and 20. Also there's a manual control if you don't want to use the auto control on this. And there's a noise canceling, low pass, and uh, no filter at all to it. So you have a few different options on this microphone. This is, while it is the largest of the four, it's still relatively small comparing it to, let's say, a Rode or a Sennheiser. I mean, Sony's done a really good job of keeping this compact. I'm looking at it right now, and it is really quite small and tiny. So anyway, this is the ECM B1M. This is how the audio sounds about a meter and a half away from the camera. I'm gonna step back to about 10 meters. This is me about 10 meters away. We have a little bit of noise cancellation on it just because we have some wind in the background, but this is me about 10 to 15 meters away from the camera system. I'm gonna walk towards you right now. So I'm about three meters away. This is how I sound being three meters away. Now, I'm actually gonna move to the side to see. Keep it right there. I'm moving to the sides. I can see if you can hear me over here or not. Probably not as good, right? You gotta be more to the camera, but of course you can change it omnidirectional. We can do a cardioid or super cardioid, but just give you an idea of how it picks up as I'm standing over here. And if I go to the side of the camera real quick here, you're not gonna see me, but I'm actually right next to the camera talking. Get a little bit of audio, but Okay. The fact that we are on super cardioid means that we are in a we are in the bubble. Yeah. Cardioid, we have a little bit of a wider sound stage. Okay. So if you're planning to do a vlogging with like your partner in crime, this actually works. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then now, going back to the camera, it's omnidirectional. I can hear myself very clearly. So if we're doing product, let's say we're doing a product showcase, B-roll for product, do you want to talk over it? This is what you want to use. That's right. Right, yeah. and I can talk and you can talk, we can all talk. I'm a lot closer to the camera too, so I'm actually more audible. Now, if I get closer about here, which is about a, I would say about half a meter away from you, right? Uh, but just to remind you guys, it also does come with a dead cat or a furry. So let's go to low pass. You will notice with the low pass, it cuts lower frequency, so Bobby doesn't sound. I don't have that resonance. Yeah. I sound like Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, hello boys and girls. <laughs> Yep, oh, good. and then now There's monetization on YouTube. <laughs> now we're turning off the filters and then setting back to cardioid. Let's see how it goes. All right, cardioid, no filters at all. This is me, raw audio coming out of the ECM B1M with the Sony ZV E1. Still about a meter, a meter and a half away from the camera right here. And if I step back a little bit, obviously we have some wind coming in here. The dead cat's gonna cut some of that out here. It looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon. I mean, we picked a hell of a day to shoot, but we gotta shoot, we gotta shoot, you know what I mean? So uh, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go to the ECM B10. All right, so now we are testing the ECM B10. This has four capsules versus eight capsules on the B1M. But otherwise, the settings, the design is almost exactly the same. You still have the uh, cardioid, super cardioid, omnidirectional. You have your attenuations on this, zero, 10, and 20. You have auto leveling on it or manual. You have your volume control on this as well, digital or analog. You have all the same settings as the ECM B1M. I'm about a meter away from the camera, actually less than a meter. I'm probably about half a meter away from the camera system right now. I'm gonna go to about a meter away from the camera right now. This is about a meter away from the camera, and I'm gonna go about, this is about three to five meters away from the camera system. So can you guys hear me still or not? Let me know in the comment section below. A little bit, right? There's a lot of noise around there. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. So I sound good right now with noise canceling super cardioid. Now we're gonna turn off noise canceling on this. This is without noise cancellation whatsoever on the microphone. So there's a lot of ambiance around us here. This mall is packed. There's a lot of reverberation with the, uh, with the um, just the sounds here, the way that this mall is designed. But this is it. How do I sound? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, I think the ECM B1M will probably have a better sound quality overall. Eight capsules versus four, but you never know. Size is not everything. We're gonna find out when we test out the ECM M1 right after this. All right, so now we're testing out the ECM M1. This is one of the newer mics of the Sony setup here. It's the second most expensive outside of the ECM B1M, but this is smaller than the B1O. It actually has more features than both of those mics, funny enough, because it has eight different modes on this microphone. 
You have three different car doors. You have stereo. You have omnidirectional. You have left and right, front and rear, and just rear. So there's a lot of settings on this mic. It is a small, compact microphone. I'm half a meter away from the camera system right now with a little noise cancellation on it. Outside of those eight different various modes, it's the same as the ECM B10 and B1M in terms of the settings. So we have it on auto noise leveling right now, so it's much easier to work with all the surrounding audio, a little bit of noise cancellation, hypercardoid, so we're really focused on the front of this real quick. So if I move to the right, you're not gonna hear me too much. If I move to the left, you might hear me a little bit, but not so much clear, but when you're in the front, you're gonna hear me a lot better. Anyway, it's about five meters away. So now I'm about a half a meter away from the camera right there. Five meters away, about three meters away. So you're getting a sense of how I sound with the microphone, this distance. Probably not good much for distance, but good for encapsulating audio from around the camera system, especially front and rear or rear if you just want your product showcase and do some B-roll and talk about things as you're showing it. Now we're gonna expand a little bit so you can hear the difference on this as well. So over here, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to the right, my left here, your right. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you notice a little bit of a difference, Zachy? In terms of pickup, slight difference. Now we're gonna expand it even more now. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's to the right of the camera. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm off camera here, and then testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get a sense of how that sounds. Oh, now we're gonna go omnidirectional. You can hear everything. Hello, mic check one, two, three. So probably hear Zach as well. So I'm gonna go all the way to the side of the camera, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna come to the left of the camera here, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna come to the front of the camera, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the guys notice the difference in terms of the audio pickup. Now we're gonna go rear only. What's up, everybody? So it's me, Zachy, behind the camera. Yes. And yeah, for the most part, I'm on the right side of the camera now, going all the way to the left. And this is where you kind of lose me, me, but it's really at the rear. Really, the rear you can't hear me at all. Then, really, nope, not really at all. Just a really Just a faint, bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to move to the front and rear. Okay, so now I'm talking to you guys in the front. Zachy, now you talk. Hey, everybody. So hey, everybody. You can tell it's a very busy area. Shifting the focus to the water fountain over here. Say hello to people. Hello. Hi. Wow, I can actually hear them. Wow, that's fantastic. I know why you did that shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A very good looking girl in the boat. That's Zachy had to capture her. All right, guys, this is the final microphone we're testing here. This is the ECM G1. This is the most budget friendly mic the Sony makes in terms of being a, being a shotgun mic, so to speak. It is ultra tiny, but it does have a mic line out jack on it. It does come with a cable as well, which is unlike the other three that are designed strictly for Sony cameras with that multimedia connection that goes into the hot shoe of the Sony camera. This has it as well, but you can use it on other camera systems. Now, this mic has no other controls. It is basically plug and play. And so the audio that you're getting out of it is the audio that you're getting out of it. If you need to clean it up, you're reliant on AI software like Adobe Podcast Enhance or Alphonic or whatever so software you want to use. That's how you're going to have to clean up the audio. The other mics had noise canceling, low, pa low pass cut on it. So you had other options on those mics. This one you don't. But we're going to test them about half a meter away from the camera system right now. I'm going to go about um, a meter away over here, Zach. Can you hear me okay? Surprisingly good, right? This is about uh, this is about three meters away. Can you hear me okay? Look at Zachy's face. I'm almost tripped up the stairs. <laughs> um, let's go down another further. Can you hear me okay? Sort of, sort of. And I'm farther away than the other microphone. I'm about seven meters, six, seven meters away from the microphone, right? Very faint. About there. So getting closer to it, I'm now about two meters away. I'm about a meter away right here, and you hear me pretty good. Pretty clear. Yep. I'm gonna go to the right, uh, left of the camera now. Can you hear me okay on the left side? Yep. And you, can, you guys can hear me too because there's a mic on the rear as well. Look at that. And I'm on the right side. Can yep. you hear me okay? Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're in a very loud, noisy environment. I just want to see how much you can pick up on you as you're talking. All right, guys. So I was looking at the footage just for a moment at the uh, Marina Bay Sands Mall, and I realized it's very loud with that water. And I thought, if you want to just hear how the mics sound without all those distractions, here we go. We're vlogging right now. Same on the ZV-E1. G1 mic on top of it right now. There's no controls on this thing whatsoever. It's really, really basic. So, but it is very tiny, very light. Feels nothing on the ZV-E1 right now. And uh, this gives you an idea of vlogging. If you're gonna hold it out arm's length here, and from our test at the mall, and what I heard back, it sounds fantastic. So 
I'm expecting some good audio quality out of this mic. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the M1, the B10, and the B1M. So let's check out, see how the M1 sounds right now I'm vlogging with this. All right, so now we've got the M1 mic on this, and I am walking down the pathway, same pathway as before. Got some cars around me, some trucks. You might hear some of that come into play, but that's what it's gonna be like if you're vlogging your way out in the streets. You can hear those outside sounds. So let me know what you guys think on this. But again, very small microphone. I think it's the second most expensive outside of the B1M. It is compact and the audio quality is pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. Anyway, to the B10 and then to the B1M to round this out. All right, so now we're using the ECM B10, the baby brother to the B1M. It looks almost exactly the same, except it only has, I think, four capsules instead of eight capsules or thereabouts on the microphone on top of it, but it is much more compact. Uh-oh, there comes the thunder, there comes the rain. So I'm gonna have to get out of this very, very, very soon. But nonetheless, let me know what you guys think of the audio quality on this. Again, everything is set to off. Noise canceling is off, attenuation is off. The audio is digital and the auto leveling is on for auto, but that is it. Oh, wow. Can you hear that thunder? Time for me to get inside. Yep, the rain is coming. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think on the ECM B10. Now we're gonna to move to the flagship, the ECM B1M. All right, guys, we're now with the flagship, the ECM B1M. Now, I don't have any noise cancellation on this at all. The attenuation's at zero. The only thing that's turned on that's auto is the auto leveling. And of course, it's a digital signal on this instead of analog, but uh, you're getting a sense of how this sounds. Now, the question a lot of people are gonna be having is, do I need to spend this kind of money on a vlogging mic? Well. Depends on you. Obviously, the isolation to the voice is important. Do you want to cut out the exterior sound? Some mics do it better than others. And obviously, do you have, what kind of resonance, what kind of tonality you want to your voice? All these things come into play when you're choosing a microphone. Now, of course, AI can do a lot of things. It can fix a lot of things. So can software. But, you know, there is something to be said about having a really good microphone to start off with so you have a really good audio quality from the beginning. I've invested in a lot of good microphones over the years, especially when I'm shooting a lot of video, doing voiceover work, and it does make a difference. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which mic sound did you like the best in terms of noise cancellation, in terms of audio quality? Love to hear from you guys. Big thanks to Zachy once again for helping me out with the video as well. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. More content on the way. Take care, stay safe, and I'll chat to you soon.